Hello, everybody. Slightly different view today. If you're just tuning in, it's an all piano set. So it's just going to be me and my clumsy fingers and a squeaky bench for the next however long.
a song called Unobstructed Views from the record Codes and Keys. Uh, <clears throat> play a, I think you guys probably knew this one was coming, but I'll get it in early here. Country road, a strong scent of evergreen from the passenger seat as you are driving me home. Then looking upwards, I strain my eyes and try. Tell the difference between shooting stars and satellites from the passenger seat as you are driving me home. Do they collide? I ask and you smile. My feet on the dash, the world doesn't matter. When you feel embarrassed, I'll be your pride. Directions, and I'll be the guide for all time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play a tune <clears throat> that uh, some of you guys, a bunch of you guys, were asking for. Uh, but specifically, uh, Eric Drewers here on this. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is going back about 2006, 2007, maybe. Let's say 2007. And um, I got asked to write a song for a movie, and it was, I don't, it was a, it was a documentary. Um, about polar bears, and uh, they needed like a theme song for for the movie, or they were or an end credit or something like that. I think it was for the end credits. And um, you know, they thought who who better to write an uplifting song about polar bears than the guy who writes all those sad bastard songs? <laughs> and uh, I turned in. What is what became this song? Uh, a lot of the lyrics are fairly similar, and uh, I, I think you'll agree it's not a shocker that they didn't choose it. 
And this is uh, this has been a trend in my career. I think people have have asked me to do things, not really knowing that I, I'm probably not the best person for certain things. You know, a sad ass song about polar bears. I'm your guy, but uh, not if you want something uplifting. So this is uh, this is this became uh, the song. The ice is getting thinner. important to note the second verse of that song refers to burying our love in a wintry grave if i recall correctly in the original song i'd written uh that verse was about a polar bear who had died <laughs> and it was the polar bear that was buried under snow because of global warming uh so again you can understand why this song was rejected <laughs> but it, it went to a good home <clears throat> Um, all right, I'm going to do, uh, let's do another tune and, uh, and, uh, let's, uh, we'll do, we'll do some questions here. Um, I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a couple covers tonight, but the first I'm going to do is, is, um, uh, by a gentleman named Tom T. Hall. I, I did some solo shows earlier this year and I, I played the song and one of the many things I like about this song is that, uh, it, uh, it now exists as an anachronistic song. And what I mean by that is the, the elements that make the song work virtually no longer exist. And um, the older I get and the more detached we uh, become from uh, a pre-technological age, a pre-smartphone age, the more I'm attracted to these kind of songs because, uh, or books or movies or whatever because I find them to be um, very interesting. And uh, so 
Um, the song I'm going to play is called Tulsa Telephone Book, and um, you'll kind of get it as the song gets going. So. <clears throat> Have you read any good telephone books lately? If you ain't, then let me recommend one. I've already read that Tulsa telephone book through 13 times. If you don't know any last names, it ain't much fun. Reading that Tulsa telephone book can drive a guy insane, especially if that girl you're looking for's got no last name. And I've got to find her and tell her I don't want our love to end. So I'm reading that Tulsa telephone book again. Well, I was in Tulsa and didn't have anything going. She lived in Tulsa and didn't have anything on. She said my name is Shirley, and I said my name is T. I woke up the next morning and she was gone. And all the Tulsa operators know my voice now. They've got to know how long I've been alone. So if you meet a girl named Shirley with ribbons in her hair, don't you tell her that she's wanted on the phone. Cause reading that Tulsa telephone book can drive a guy insane Especially if that girl you're looking for's got no last name And I've got to find her and tell her I don't want our love to end So I'm reading that Tulsa telephone book Again. So I'm reading that Tulsa telephone book again. All right, guys. Uh, let's see some questions here. I hope you guys still hear me from off the mic a bit. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, somebody asks, uh, what are your thoughts about the future of live music? Do you view the uptick in live streaming as a short-term fix or as a harbinger for a real shift in the music industry? Um, I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I do not think we will be 100% back uh, until we have either some form of herd immunity or... Uh, there's a vaccine or there's been some miraculous shift in uh, where things are. So I, I'm, I'm very much enjoying doing this for you guys. Um, this is kind of giving me a sense of purpose and, uh, and it's enjoyable and it gets me a chance to play some songs I haven't played in a while. Uh, but I would much rather be in a room with you guys and I'm sure you guys feel the same way. So, um, you know, uh, we have shows that were postponed till the fall. I have some solo shows that got postponed to the fall. I certainly hope that we can make those shows happen. Um, uh, but, you know, everything is so week to week, not even week to week, it's day to day right now, uh, that um, we're just going to have to see. And um, I don't want to make a dire prediction, but I think it's going to be a while before we can really uh, get back the way things were. Uh, but until then, you know, I will be doing some version of this for you guys. So um, what's with the shirt and the beanie get up? This is what I wear, son. This is like Northwest formal wear. Uh, do you have a favorite song of all the songs that you've written? Um, it kind of varies. Uh, um, 
I, I've said before on the show that a company called Epilogue is is one of my, I don't know if it's my the favorite song I've ever written, but it's a song that I felt kind of I turned a corner on. And uh, I started kind of writing in a fashion that I felt um, uh, was kind of what I wanted to do. Uh, so that's one of my favorite ones. Um, I'm actually going to play um, uh, another one of my favorite songs next, actually, for you guys. Um, I don't think it's a, it's quite a, a, a burner, but it's one of my favorite songs I've written. Um, let's see. Somebody asks, what is the best band you've ever seen live? Um, you know, it, I think the best band I've ever seen live, and, you know, it's it's... It comes with a little bit of a caveat, which is um, this band kind of existed just to almost quite literally burn the house down. And as a band from, I believe, Tel Aviv called Monotonics, and uh, maybe 15 years ago, I went and saw them play uh, at the Comet Tavern here in Seattle. And um, it's guitar, drums, vocals, and it was just one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Like they quite literally almost burned the place down. And it was that kind of show that is both dangerous and thrilling at the same time. Um, and I think they're one of those bands uh, that at the time, I wasn't super into the records, but seeing them live was just an absolute mind blowing experience. Um, all right, let's do, uh, let's do two more, two more questions here. Um, somebody asked me, uh, oh, that, that's, uh, I'm, uh, we'll get to that. That's not what I was trying to click on. <laughs> Uh, but the answer is uh, somewhat yes. Um, okay. Where, where are where are these questions? Uh, it's hard to click on because I don't want to seem like I'm going to click on one that's like self-serving here. Um, Oh, here's a good one. Uh, what is my favorite Built to Spill song? Um, I think uh, it would have to be probably, um, like many people, it's, it's Car. I think that it's uh, Car from the record, There's Nothing Wrong With Love. It's just perfect, beautiful sentiment. <clears throat> and it's a, just a perfect love song. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with that uh, record, uh, check it out. Um, but that song in particular is just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful sentiment. And um, I think it's, it's one of their best songs and it's, it's my favorite by, by a long shot. Um, okay, let's do one more here and I'll get back to playing some tunes. Uh, uh, somebody asked me, what is my, what is the favorite guitar that I own? Um, my, the, my favorite guitar is a, uh, it's a Gibson LG one acoustic guitar that uh, belonged to my dad. His, my grandfather, his father bought it for him when he was 13. And because my dad is, uh, uh, keeps the stuff so nice, uh, this guitar is in mint condition. It's now got to be almost 70 years old, 60 years old. Um, and it's the one thing in the house that, you know, I've instructed Rachel in, in if our house is on fire to grab that guitar. Because uh, that is quite, it's quite literally the mo my most prized possession, not because it has any uh, financial value per se, but it, because it has an, in, an incredible sentimental value. And it's something that never actually leaves the house. I never take it to a show. I don't play it live. It just stays in the house. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, all right, guys. So I said that I'm going to get back to playing. Uh, I'm going to play a song I'm really proud of. And uh, <clears throat> This is one that we don't, we played a couple times when the record came out, but it's still one of my favorite tunes. And um, it's called Binary Sea. It goes like this.
to hold before But the weight it brought him to the floor You watched him struggle to his feet You took photos capturing his defeat And messaged them to all your friends And we all laughed at his expense Ow. Ow. Oh, come, my love, and swim with me out in this valley. I never see zeros and ones patterns appear. They'll prove to all that we were here. For if there is no document, we cannot build our monument. So look into the lens and I. This morning never dies. Ow. Ow. No Atlas could not stay engaged He was more distracted every day And he slowly fell into disarray Just trying to think something to say for if there is no documents we can't build a monument so lean and close and lend an ear there's something brilliant bound to happen here A lot of these songs are in the key of C because I'm such a bad piano player that the white keys are easier. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna play another one in C here. This was just requested. Father time, as I stared in my shoes, in the eye see you, the reaped of pence and 409. And I rationed my breaths as I said to myself that I'd already taken too much today, as each descending peak on the L. CD took you a little farther away from me, away from me. the vending machines in your old magazines in a place where we only say goodbye stung like a violent wind 
that our memories depend on a faulty camera in our minds. And I knew that you were true. I would rather lose than to have never lain beside it all. And I looked around at all the eyes on the ground as the TV entertained itself. Cause there was no comfort in the waiting. Just nervous pacers racing for bad news. Then the nurse comes round and everyone who left their head. And I'm thinking of what Sam said. Love is watching someone die. So who's gonna watch you die? 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 <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna, <clears throat> against my better judgment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a new song for you. Um, uh, so I wrote a while ago. Uh, I'm planning on putting it out as a single. Uh, I was going to have it out as a single for this solo tour I was doing in a more ramped up electric guitar version. But um, obviously the show's not happening, so we're going to push that to the fall. But <clears throat> I think it's kind of apropos. This is a song I wrote um, about a planet that was discovered uh, deep, deep in the cosmos, way out there, um, called Proxima B. And uh, the two things you need to know about, three things you need to know about uh, Proxima B to understand the song is one, there was a planet called Proxima B they think has water on it and is somewhat Earth-like. <clears throat> Secondly, um, uh, it, the, it, uh, it orbits a star called, Cent uh, star called Centauri. I hope I'm saying that right. And three, um, there's been a lot of talk in, uh, well, I don't know, a lot of talk, but that kind of talk of like, ooh, if we could maybe get there at some point. So I wrote the song in response to that. <clears throat> and hopefully I'll be able to get through it just fine. So we'll see. This world starting to bring me down. The ocean's rising, and we're all gonna drown. But there's a place where you and I can go. We can start this whole mess all over. Proxima B, 
bathed in the glow of Centauri. Proxima B, careless and free. Don't try to tell me that there's no second act. Say your goodbyes and get your suitcase back. So what's the point of trying to save this place? If there is another out in outer space. Proxima B, from where its sun is in guarantee. Proxima B, stars are a sea. Proxima B, bathed in the glow of Centauri. Proxima B, careless and free. You and I are gonna get it right. We won't make the same mistakes twice. Everybody's starting to figure it out. Our little planet's slowly trying to cry. Proxima B, I remember when it was just you and me. Proxima B, careless and free. Proxima B, from where its sun is in guarantee. Proxima B, stars are a sea. One's called Proxima B, <clears throat> a much more subdued version than the uh, balls out rock version coming at you soon. <laughs> uh, all right, the second cover I'm going to play tonight is a song that I <clears throat> played a lot on tour in my first ever proper solo tour in 2007. And uh, just been kind of getting nostalgic for one of my favorite bands recently. So I decided to. Pull it out and dust it off for you guys. <clears throat> it shouldn't be a, I don't think this song needs any real introduction. You guys will get it. What else should I be? All apologies. What else could I say? Everyone is gay. What else could I write? I don't have the right. What else could I be? All apologies. In the sun, in the sun, I feel as one. 
in the sun, in the sun, Mary, Mary, I wish I was like you. My nest of songs, everything's my fault. I'll take all the blame. Aqua sea from shame, sunburn with freezer burn, choking on the ashes of a rain. In the sun, in the sun, I feel as one. In the sun, in the sun, Mary, Mary, Mary. time um <clears throat> okay i got two more for you here um uh before we move on uh, i'd like to make sure you guys are all aware that uh uh today's show is a benefit for the seattle artist relief fund amid covid19 and uh it is a a fund that is being uh kind of generated and added to to help um artists musicians painters, theater, uh, people, um, all, uh, all walks and stripes, um, in this very difficult time, because as you guys all know, one of the many reasons that I'm here playing music into my computer is because, uh, I'm not able to do so in, in front of real people. And, uh, uh, within Seattle, uh, there's a, a thriving and beautiful arts community. Um, and there always has been, and, you know, so many of, of the artists within the city are not as lucky as as we are. Uh, they're not as they're not able to to kind of wait out this storm uh, like like I can. So I feel uh, it is important that um, in these times, uh, you know, we we try to do something for our creative brethren uh, that are that are unable to work right now. So uh, if you're enjoying the show, you like the piano, even though I hit a lot of wrong notes um, and you have a little bit of cash to, to, to uh, part with. I, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would give five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever it is, whatever you can afford. Uh, it would it really, it really mean a lot to me and it would it'd mean a lot to the arts community here in Seattle. So um, uh, this is uh, this is a song from the photo album. Respect. 
见。So thanks for tuning in this week, you guys. Uh, we'll be here same time next week. Uh, uh, and I'd like to give you guys all a heads up that we are going to go party over at uh, Grumpy Beard's Instagram here in about four minutes. Uh, Zach Ray, our beloved keyboard player, and far superior <laughs> ivory tickler to me, um, uh, he is doing his, uh, his weekly uh, IG show. Uh, where he teaches everybody how to make a pretty dope ass cocktail and uh, plays jazz music and uh, is dressed very dapper, as I imagine he probably will be. Um, so uh, we're going to head over there as soon as I'm done here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for, for giving as well. Uh, we'll see you next time. to live where a soul meets body and let the sun wrap its arms around me and bathe my skin in water cool and cleansing feel feel what it's like to be new is in my head there is a gray cow station. I send my thoughts to far off destinations so they may have a chance of finding a place where they're far more suited than here. Cannot guess what we'll discover. We turn the dirt with our palms, cup like shovels. But I know our filthy hands can wash one another's. Not one speck will. And I do believe it's true that there are roads left in both of our shoes, but if the silence takes you, then I hope it saves me too. So brown eyes, I'll hold you near, cause you're the only song I want to hear, a melody softly soaring through my eyes fear. Where a soul meets body. Where a soul needs body I do believe it's true that there are roads left
left in both of our shoes But if the silence takes you Then I hope it saves me too So brown eyes are hold you near Cause you're the only song I want to hear A melody softly soaring through my atmosphere A melody softly soaring through my atmosphere A melody softly soaring through my atmosphere Melody softly soaring through my atmosphere. Thank you very much, you guys. Uh, I'll see you next week. Be good, stay safe, and uh, talk to you soon.